I want to use this message to focus on the big picture facing Scottish businesses right now. Today, the Scottish Government will present its annual budget and Scottish businesses will be looking for something better. So far during this pandemic, the UK Treasury has provided £8.6 billion pounds of additional, additional funding to the Scottish Government. This is on top of the billions of pounds in direct assistance that the UK Treasury has paid to Scottish businesses and to Scottish workers through furlough payments, self-employed support and bounce back loans. That's the big picture behind this budget. Scotland's economy directly benefiting from our place in the UK and the economic security that this delivers to all of us. Why then have entire sectors of Scotland's economy felt unsupported over the past year? From hospitality to the taxi trade to football clubs, companies of all sizes have felt short changed by the poor delivery of these business funds administered by this SNP government in Holyrood. Now that's because the main priority for the Scottish Government isn't supporting our economy. It's to push for another referendum on the breaking up of the United Kingdom. Just look at SNP government moves in the past week to set up a task force on delivering independence and on their so-called plan B to hold an illegal second referendum. They are laser focused on carving up the UK when they should be laser focused on the delivery of this extra financial support from the UK government instead of hoarding large chunks of it in their election treasure chest. They should also be making sure Scotland's economy doesn't stay in lockdown a moment longer than it has to. And worryingly, our vaccination rate is now sadly falling behind the rest of the UK. And also working parents are struggling to do their jobs because they're grappling with poorly resourced homeschooling put in place by a government that's totally lost its way on education. This is the big picture facing Scottish businesses. Indy Ref 2 shouldn't even be in the frame. 